I always believe that civil services is a very good career path uh, for the youth of India. And also, I calculated a lot of pros and cons uh, before proceeding towards its preparation. So I found it very feasible. Hello, everyone. I welcome you to the Plutus IS and myself, Akshay Guru. So, I, we, I am here again just to introduce you guys with the our UPSC topper, Mr. Ayush Mani, who has secured uh, rank 723 in the U, recently declared UPSC result, Civil Services Examination. So, congratulations, Ayush, first. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, guys, uh, our agenda for today is just like just to sh- uh, like uh, have a discussion about uh, his preparation strategy again geography uh, because he was having a geography as an optional. So, some questions in connection with the uh, uh, that optional subject. So, starting with uh, the first question itself. Uh, so, uh, Ayush, uh, please introduce our viewers about your uh, the background and what prompted you to prepare for this civil service examination. Uh, so, uh, my background is I have done my 10th and 12th from Sardar Patel Vidyala in New Delhi. And after that, I have done my 5-year dual degree integrated course from Indian Institute of Technology, Bhubaneswar in civil engineering. And uh, I always believe that civil services is a very good career path uh, for the youth of India. And also, I calculated a lot of pros and cons uh, before proceeding towards its preparation. So, I found it very feasible. Also, because of my family background, inspiration also comes from my father. Because he was also from uh, the civil services background. So, this was my uh, starting point of this preparation. Oh, great. Uh, so, uh, then, uh, like, as you uh, already mentioned, geography optional, uh, it was there you know, for your uh, two attempts as uh, those were. So, uh, what do you think? What is the difference like geography? Because geography as well forms a part of GS and it as well forms a part of optional as well. So, what do you think? What is the difference that uh, the aspirant should keep it in mind while answering this geography GS questions and geography optional questions? Uh, this is a very important <coughs> point because <coughs> excuse me because uh, the generalistic answers in geography paper 2 especially it should be avoided <coughs> because it uh, didn't doesn't fetch you a good amount of marks so we should always focus on bringing geographical aspects into the answers while answering geography paper 2 that could be models theories That could be views of thinkers. That could be case studies and maps. So, they enrich your answer and make it different from the general studies answers. Okay. Yes. Uh, Could you please further uh, like uh, explain us about the role of importance of the syllabus uh, in uh, this optional preparation particularly? Because what I have seen, usually uh, aspirants or students, they start with what material that is made available to them in the market. You know, so they directly approach to the market and they look for the uh, directly that sources. So, what is your take on this? Okay, the importance of syllabus while uh, you know starting with this particular geography as optional. Uh, so, I always used to keep a copy of the syllabus on my desk, and uh, while studying any particular chapter from any standard book, I used to see that if it is sticking to the syllabus or not. For instance, in oceanography, hmm. for instance, in geomorphology, there are a lot of aspects that we do not need to cover. Hmm. So, filtering out from the syllabus is very important. And also looking at the previous year questions. So, I used to see that uh, what are the previous year questions related to that particular syllabus and uh, how it is to be answered. So, that was my starting point of preparation. Yes, I would like to add one uh, further question over into it. Uh, did you find or have you find any uh, role of syllabus or those uh, units and subunits of it while you know answering the question in the geography optional? So any help from? Uh, definitely, uh, because the examiner always has a copy of the syllabus in his mind while checking the answers. So and he or she always checks that whether that particular answer uh, that uh, I'm writing is pertaining to that part of the syllabus or not. So, 
I always used to keep in mind that my answer is reflected of those points in the syllabus and it is being answered completely. Yes, because in my class as well, just like say what I used to say, I used to tell students that do remember those 20 points of our syllabus and try to reflect them in your answer, like geomorphology, oceanography, climatology. So if they are asking you about physical features, you can simply reflect on this point and you can absolutely use syllabus on this front as well. No? Definitely, definitely. Reflecting those points of the syllabus is very essential for that bringing that specificity of the geography. Yes, thank you. Uh, then again, uh, I, what I would like to ask, uh, the role of uh, mapping uh, diagram figures, particularly for our uh, optional paper one and optional paper two. And again, if you again uh, uh, answer in the same sequence, like the importance of answer writing in that connection. Right, so. so answering the first part of the question that importance of map, uh, map is a geographer's best friend since centuries. So considering paper one map of uh, of the world is very important the mm. uh, the world map is very important okay. while answering uh, uh, questions of physical geography or any other part for instance there was a question on marine resources uh, mm. in this year's mains so drawing a map of the world and indicating the different types of marine resources that are found that enriches the answer considering paper two regional maps are very important uh answering any general question and as I told earlier, bringing the specificity. So that comes via your maps and explaining the maps with the help of case studies is very important. And thirdly, uh, the importance of previous year question, uh, what was the question sir? Uh, answer writing. Answer when writing. One should start the answer writing and importance of it. Uh, answer writing is probably the most important aspect because our marks are evaluated on the basis of the answer that we write. We may be having a lot of knowledge, but if that is not reflecting in the answers, uh, it is not much useful for the exam. So I used to practice answer writing uh, when I had completed a certain amount of my syllabus. When I knew that what are the important aspects to be answered after going uh, finishing uh, my syllabus a bit, then reflecting on what what things are wrong in my answers, what I can improve to do it. And over a period of uh, two, three years, my answer gradually improved and uh, I felt confident of my preparation that way. So ans pre uh, answer writing is probably one of the most important aspects. So it seems like, uh, guys, see, answer writing is one of the most important aspect of UPSC preparation because it is like you are, you know, it's like your lawyer. It just represent uh, to the examiner what you are. You know? Definitely, yeah, sir. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, uh, this is now a particular question from my side because what I have seen, like I have been taking batches uh, optional for since a long. So usually when I start with the perspective in human geography, uh, that the sixth unit of our syllabus, and model theories and laws in human geography. Uh, if you uh, if you look like the reflection in the PYQs, so comparatively less uh, weightage that it seems, at least for the perspective in human geography, and being somehow like the theoretical in nature. So it gives us like a sense like a philosophical determinism, possibilism, new determinism, you know. So what usually students, they tend to avoid these two uh, key points, I feel, these two key points uh, during the course of geography preparation. So what I want, what is your view on these two particular units? Uh, so according to me, these two units were one of the most important units of my preparation because it not only helps uh, in answering those particular questions, but uh, we can use these uh, points in every answer in paper one or paper two. Uh, for instance, if any question comes on industries, we can uh, definitely quote Weber. Right. Or if any question comes related to agriculture, we can quote Von Thunen. Von Thunen. And perspectives of great geographical thinkers form the basis of geography. So we cannot ignore it. So uh, for instance, uh, I used to coin aerial differentiation a lot in my answers mm, mm. and re regional, regional geography. Uh, geography right. Also, there, whenever there is a question of innovation or what we need to do, uh, I used to also uh, quote a lot of perspectives uh, from that particular section. That particular. So, is it what do you think? Uh, if I quote it as like this, two units rather form a soul of our geography optional. So, do you agree with this? Definitely, because. Uh, 
we answers a lot of question based upon these this two, using the ideas from yeah, the perspective yeah. as so well as the I, I, I means i usually find like in toppers copies and like yours as well that this two units must be reflected in the paper uh, physical geography human geography and in the paper two as well indian geography definitely sir uh, my last question to you now uh, uh, see uh, like paper two of optional that is like indian geography and what it usually uh, when you go through the content even many uh, gs those non geography optional taker they they consider it like yaar ye to question bahut easy paper hi bahut easy hai and we can even be not having optional as a geography you can answer them so what is my uh, question to you uh, that uh, what is the difference like say uh, that uh, paper 1 and paper 2 right paper 1 of that theoretical area and the paper 2 that is indian geography so how we can first that uh, have it that difference and the second one how we can integrate this knowledge as well uh, so regarding gs paper 1 and uh, optional, optional paper 1 optional paper 2 okay uh, so i believe that uh, using the concepts from paper 1 into paper 2 is very important hmm. because paper 2 tends to be very generalistic and the questions as you rightly said sir they can be answered by any non geographical taker also but sir the same strategy i use in paper 2 as well as gs paper 1 hmm. when i used to uh, coin the concepts of pa- uh, optional paper 1 into general studies paper 1 and optional paper 2 also so, using the case studies using the perspectives and the laws models and theories models. so that bring that brings in the differentiation effect sir because uh, then what is the point of taking geography optional if you are not able to answer it as a geographical perspective yeah, so your answer should be like uh, a geographical answer in itself Definitely, even though sir. it uh, it has some tone that is uh, somehow connected with the gs general Definitely. Sense. Definitely sir Uh, what is now uh, your last message to our viewer you know or our aspirant that uh, based on your experience that you have uh, prepared this upsc for at least what those years so what is your message to our students and uh one important message is that uh, we need to be planned because uh, the amount of the syllabus the amount of uh, mental imbalance that it creates in the mind the amount of self doubt that it creates we should always stick to our planning and a long term fixed goal should be there in our mind and we should divide it into uh, monthly goals or regional goals and fulfilling those in order to fulfill the long term goals is very important and that comes from the importance of planning so planning is one of the most important things that we should do before starting our preparation so at the end uh, it seems like based on this whole of discussion that uh, planning uh, be aware about your syllabus be focused on your answer writing be aware about the difference between how you are supposed to answer geography optional answers and then gs as well you know so this is what i believe the crux of uh, the today's discussion i wish you all the best for your all future journey and yes i wish as well so thank you guys thank you thank you